I was convinced that there was no way to live a completely happy life. And if I couldn't live happy, I didn't want to live at all. It began with a divorce, a broken home. And I believe that through that, my mentality began to form and began to develop a sense of rejection because I didn't understand. I was a small child and didn't understand adult things. And so I, I felt the breakup was all about me. That sense of rejection just really grew. I began to perceive myself as a burden to other people. And so I would take little bitty comments that were relatively insignificant. I would make it into a really big deal. Those little seeds in my life, I began meditating on over and over. And as I grew, the rejection began to grow. What is wrong with me? And so I believe that the only answer for me was to end my life. I walked um, to my mother's room thinking I don't want anyone to see me because I'm so determined to end my life, to end the void, to end the suffering, to end the loneliness that nothing was going to stop me. I began crying out and I began screaming out to God, God, forgive me. And the gun went off. My lungs began to fill up with blood. My ears, I began to become deaf, very slowly, faintly become deaf. My eyes became blind. My eyes were open and I became blinded and I knew that death was gripping my soul. And then all of a sudden, I felt myself, my soul leave my body and I instantly began falling and falling. And at that moment, I knew I was no longer in control of my destiny. And I ended up in a place that was complete torment and my body was burning i no longer was lonely i was no longer depressed i became depression i became loneliness i became a tormented being of fear and as I began looking out and I saw all of these other people and everybody was screaming in pain, the, the mutual thing that everyone shared there was their desire to scream out to everybody on earth, do not come here. Acknowledge that life is about Jesus Christ. Eternity is real and hell is real and heaven is real and how you live your life will determine where you go and everybody cried out that their loved ones would hear the truth i saw the hand of god literally come down and at that moment i knew that he was coming for me and his hand picked me up and instantaneously I was no longer a being of tormented sin. I now was a being being cleansed. And God took me over the heavens. It was beyond peaceful and gorgeous and magnificent. However, I was not allowed to stay. And I was certainly not allowed to see anything specific. But I was able to feel His presence in His entirety. I was able to feel perfect serenity. I was able to feel joy for the first time, complete, whole joy. And this hand just began to bring me back into the universe. And I saw myself coming back to my home and went through the ceiling and the hand just went and placed me gently back into my physical body. And he went up and I opened my eyes and I saw him go up and instantly, I knew at that moment God loved me. I called out on His name and I asked for Him to forgive me and He did. And at that moment I was given a spiritual strength that I had never known. I was given joy that I had never had. I was given peace that I knew would take me through what I was about to face. The bullet had missed my heart um, by less than a fourth of an inch. I mean, just you know, by millimeters there, and 
has explained that, you know, the pressure of a 38 caliber gun should have exploded my heart. And they didn't understand that there was nothing wrong with me. They broke a few of my ribs and that was all. When you leave this earth, you are going to do one or two things. Either you are going to be transformed into a being of sin and torment, or you are going to be transformed into a being of light and love and joy. And it is a personal responsibility who and what you are going to be transformed into. And I had to learn how to take on the responsibility and quit blaming others for my mental and emotional condition. Now I'm full of joy. Now I am full of peace. I am who God says I am. I am loved. I am adopted into the kingdom of Christ. You know, God sees me that I am his child and all that he has is mine. I just have to be able to receive it. And I have to be able to recognize and replace my junk with his greatness. As long as I stand on the promises of God and I allow his presence in my life, I can conquer anything and I can go through my problems with peaceful sleep. I can go with them with joy and strength beyond all comprehension. And I can come out on the other side full of hope and a victory in Christ.